if you don't go all the straight routes, you shouldn't be able to get the time yeah. at the Olympic point. Yeah. Boyd Martin, Blackfoot Mystery, starting the challenge for the United States of America. And uh, already we're seeing they didn't have the best uh, two days in dressage, but it's now not a dressage competition anymore. Blackfoot Mystery, Boyd's horse, uh, this former racehorse bred in Kentucky, was sixth at uh, Kentucky, the uh, four-star this year. Been top ten at Plantation Field and uh, well placed at Fair Hill as well. Boyd, the world number seven, riding in his second Olympics. He's on 47.7, he was 35th after dressage rookie Julian Krajewski. Yeah. So, 86 point. Sorry, I'll just uh, give you the overnight score for Sandra Alfarth. It is 86.4, putting together uh, yesterday's dressage and today's cross country score. Boyd Martin, Blackfoot Mystery. We've just seen him over the big burly jump. He's coming to the Sugarloaf cable cars. Jumping well at the moment, this cable car fence. Boyd was Australian born. He followed his uh, mentor, Philip Dutton, to Pennsylvania in America, declared for the USA and riding for them now in his second Olympics. gallop there and it's a long way down here now he's got to get this line absolutely right Ooh, steady five around the corner of the treat well done well ridden because that was from the gallop as well wasting no time at all this man yeah it is an ex racehorse blackfoot mystery and boyd wants to do his very best and he might be just trying to get a few seconds into the bank to take a long route David O'Connor, team chef and coach for the United States of America, was the individual Olympic champion in 2000 at Sydney. Just gives that a little rattle. It's on quite an uphill profile there as well, that table. Oof. He's having to hunt him here at these. For the first in a while to go straight through it, Blackfoot Mystery and Boyd Martin. Well, he's it. taking no prisoners time-wise. He's, he's not. He's got to go to the Sugarloaf. First problem of the day there. And another one to have a problem at the Pan Am Walls combination in Argentina. So she might be uh, ending up eliminated with those three refusals on course. He uh, beat his four-star personal best in the dressage to score 51.7. Here's the flying American, Boyd Martin, Blackfoot Mystery. He's just easing up this course. Typical thoroughbred horse, isn't yeah. he? You know, getting towards the, the end of the course now, he's off the bridle, but still going at a really good gallop. Jump. Boyd Martin is with us now. First that we see from the United States of America, just two riders remaining for them in the competition. So they won't compete as a team, but both riders are very well up in the individual rankings. This is Boyd Martin in sixth, and Philip Dutton still to come is in fifth. Boyd with the thoroughbred Blackfoot mystery. Boyd, a London Olympian. This horse was sixth at the Kentucky Four Star this year. Boyd's only been riding the horse since summer of 2015. Had some good results at three star at both Plantation Field in Pennsylvania and Fair Hill. The USEF National Three Star Championships in America. 3.2 time penalties for Boyd yesterday, putting him on that 50.9. Twenty-two horses gone. 
four clears inside the time. One other clear. Gemma Tatters will jump to clear, but uh, with time faults. So the ratio is quite good, actually. About roughly 25%. That's, uh, that's course, good course designing. Yeah, Mojorga. He's a, he's a very good course designer. Trained for a long time. Learned his trade with... Uh, London Olympic course designer, show jumping course designer Bob Ellis, one of the leading four star course designers in the world, and Yorga really doing a very, very good job in his footsteps and in his own right, of course. Well, all right on the clock, it's two down on the ground, eight for jumping, so 58.9 for Boyd Martin and Blackfoot Mystery, but uh, he is a qualifier on that score for the individual final. Another front rail there gone on that Oxa. And uh, I do think that the man has done an absolutely brilliant job. The course is absolutely perfect for the job in hand, which is not to tax these horses, overtax them, but to certainly test them and the riders.